Very nice, you're joining us for level three of our Kumne training. Um, it's pretty uh, in-depth practice and theory, so take your time, don't go too fast, uh, don't rush towards the end. So you just finished level two, and in level two we discussed the four energy centers, your internal structure. You can imagine that the energies that we're made up of actually are part of a very elaborate system, the subtle body energy system. They say that it has 72,000 little channels, big channels, and then the main one is in front of the spine, the central column. And then there are four energy centers, like the head, the throat, the heart, and the gut. Now, there are more. There are other systems that have seven or 11, but we basically work with four. So by now, you should know them four well, and ideally also to know when you feel contracted or when you feel you're in a difficult time, which of these areas is contracted, which of these areas needs some attention. So in the way that you give attention is by doing kumne gently. So you don't go in with a strong shoot atmosphere, it's more like a caring, a soft, a gentle, because we want to restore the flow of energy in these various centers. And if you do that with a very harsh attitude, it makes it more difficult. It works a little bit, but it goes much deeper if your attitude is gentle and if you focus on the body and focus on the energies within. It's also quite exciting to know that which en energy center has what kind of an effect. And of course, it's described in the Kumne Yoga book by Tartan Tuku, especially in the chapter on breathing. It describes the four energy, energy centers. And also in gestural balance, you find more theory. But the level two discusses each area by itself. And when it's open, what kind of experience you have. And when it's contracted, how it shows up like specific emotions are related to specific energy centers. So rather than trying to figure out why you are emotional or what your frustration uh, is really uh, about, focus on, your, on the centers of the body. When they flow harmoniously, when they're integrated, they create a sense of wholeness and you will be feeling well, you feel in balance, you have energy, you're creative, you're caring, it's easy for you to remain present, to have ideas, to not give up. So all the positive qualities that you're looking for in life can actually be reduced to make the flow of energy throughout the body harmonious. So each area is important. One is not more important than the other. So you awaken each one or you calm down a certain one. And in the awakening and the calming down, they, be, they come into their own right. Their flow is more easy, more harmonious. And you calm down, you settle, you come to life, you're balanced. Some people might say you're a center. So it's a matter of working with your body, the kumne postures, and the internal flow of energy. But now in lesson three, we go quite a few steps further. We are trying to develop inner balance. So we will make a distinction between wellness and wholeness. And wellness is when the flow of energy is circulating through the body. So we're shifting from more physical kumne, from doing the exercises, we shift more to internal kumne, to inner kumne. Of course, we still do physical exercise and physical movement, but it is not so much you doing the exercises. You are more relaxed, calm, centered inside, like still and open. Like, And then the exercises that you are doing will stimulate the flow of feeling. So it's more internal, more calm, and much deeper. So we're shifting from the physical, the outer, to the more internal, to the inner. It's a very exciting level, and I'm glad you're joining us. Have a good time. <laughs>